This is LTX2, an open source video model that you can use for free. Since its release, it's been the hottest topic, and that's because LTX2 can generate high resolution videos up to 20 seconds long, it generates synchronized audio, and it does it much faster than any other open source video model. But after testing it for a couple of days, I'll be honest, I've got mixed feelings. So in this video, I'll show you how to use LTX2 in Comfy UI, and then we're gonna answer the real question. Is LTX2 really the best open source video model right now or is it just overhyped? If you don't have Comfy UI on your computer, you can pause the video here and follow this tutorial first. And if you run into any issues during the process, remember you can still run Comfy UI completely online without having to worry about complicated setup and I will leave a direct link to that in the description box. Once you're done, start Comfy UI, open the main menu and click browse templates, search for LTX2, you will find a bunch of LTX2 workflows, each used for a different purpose, but today we will focus on LTX text to video and image to video. Let's start with the text to video workflow. First, download all the required models from this pop-up window and wait for that to finish. Next, you can go here to type in your prompt. Remember that LTX2 can generate speech, so besides describing the subject, environment and motion you want in your video, you can also type in the exact dialogue, sound effects or ambience. By default, the number of frames is set to 121. And since this workflow generates at 24 frames per second, that gives you around 5 seconds of video, but you can change it to less or more. I was able to successfully generate videos up to 20 seconds long, and I've seen some examples online where people managed to generate even longer videos. When it comes to video dimensions, LTX2 is probably one one of the few models, if not the only one, where I'm comfortable setting the resolution to 1080p. This works well because I'm using an RTX 5090, but I wasn't able to generate in 4K using my computer. And of course, if you want faster generation speed, I recommend going with 720p or even lower so you don't exhaust your machine. You can then use an upscaling tool such as Topaz Video to increase the resolution of the generated video. Here you can choose from two different models. Right now I have the FP8 version selected. The other main version is a much bigger model and will supposedly give you better quality. But I tried that and got an out of memory error every single time. So unless you're running the workflow online or have a high end GPU with more than 48 gigabytes of VRAM, I wouldn't bother with this. Now what you're seeing here is a simplified version of the LTX2 workflow running under the hood. You can click here to open the subgraph and access more advanced nodes. Inside you can change the frame rate of your output video. By default it's set to 24 which I'm gonna keep. Another important setting you can adjust is the steps value. You can go higher for better quality but this will increase your generation time. If you're testing this for the first time you don't need to worry so much about the settings in the other nodes. Let's go back to our main workflow and close the subgraph and to start generating just click run and a few minutes later you will have your video. Now clearly the most impressive part about LTX2 is the generation speed. This video took around 3 minutes to generate, however I noticed that the generation time fluctuates a lot, sometimes it's slower and other times it's much faster. I'm gonna tell you my honest opinion about the video itself, but before that, real quick, let's have a look at the image to video workflow. Go back to the menu click browse templates and this time open the image to video workflow. You'll notice it's very similar to the text to video workflow. The main difference is that you can click here to upload an input image. You will also need a prompt that describes the movement as well as the audio. And just like text to video, you can set your desired frame count for the dimension. Once again, I'm going to go with 1920 by 1080. And inside the subgraph, you will notice that image to video generates at 25 frames per second. And you can also increase the steps value to improve the output quality. Let's go back to the main image to video workflow and click run to start generating, which should only take a couple of minutes. Now, to be completely honest, there are so many things I like about this output, the hair physics, the realistic light rays, the way the fish moves in the background, the camera also stays locked on her hand, which means it followed my prompt and understood the context. But the biggest advantage here is that we have audio. 
However, don't let all of that fool you, because after testing LTX2 for a few days now and comparing it directly to other open source video models, like One 2.2, I think the hype around it makes sense, but only up to a point. Let me explain. LTX2 is really fast. You can generate 1080p comfortably, you can push longer video durations, and the fact that it can generate speech and talking head videos out of the box is impressive, and the lip movement is almost perfect perfectly synced to the audio. It still gives you cinematic video result. But in terms of overall visual quality and consistency, I found it to be much more unpredictable than other models. You often need to generate the same video a couple of times before you get something usable. Whereas with One 2.2, I personally get good results much faster, even when the prompt is not perfect. With LTX2, prompt precision matters a lot more. And even then, the image quality, the physics can break pretty easily. And whether that's worth it really depends on what you're trying to generate. Also, at first I thought LTX2 could possibly become the go-to model for free UGC content. But after testing it, I came to a different conclusion. I believe Infinite Talk is still a much better alternative, which by the way, you can learn how to use in this video, even though it takes much longer to generate with Infinite Talk. Looking at how LTX2 fails to keep the product labeling consistent, that becomes a major deal breaker. For me, LTX2 is not even close to being the one killer. It's powerful in specific scenarios, but certainly not the best open source video model available right now. If that's what you're looking for, I recommend you check the video I made on One 2.2. Stay creative and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.